Now in this next episode, we will do a deeper dive into the cosmic calendar concept because this is a concept that has been explained to the greatest number of people by Carl Sagan, originally in his 1977 book, The Dragons of Eden, but then to the largest audience in 1980 via his Cosmos television series, which has been viewed by perhaps one billion people over the following decades and many generations have watched Cosmos. So we go to a clip of Carl Sagan from Cosmos. The time since the explosive birth of the Cosmos, the Big Bang. The cosmic calendar compresses the local history of the universe into a single year. If the universe began on January 1st, it was not until May that the Milky Way formed. Other planetary systems may have appeared in June, July, and August, but our Sun and Earth, not until mid-September. Life arose soon after. Everything humans have ever done occurred in that bright speck at the lower right of the cosmic calendar. The Big Bang is at upper left in the first second of January 1st. 15 billion years later, is our present time, the last second of December 31st. Every month is one and a quarter billion years long. Each day represents 40 million years. Each second stands for some 500 years of our history, the blinking of an eye in the drama of cosmic time. At this scale, the cosmic calendar is the size of a football field, but all of human history would occupy an area the size of my hand. We've emerged so recently that the familiar events of our recorded history occupy only the last seconds of the last minute of December 31st. Some critical events for the human species, however, began much earlier, minutes earlier. So we change our scale from months to minutes. Down here, the first humans made their debut around 10.30 p.m. on December 31st. 11.46, only 14 minutes ago, humans have tamed fire. 11.59.20, the domestication of plants and animals begins. 11.59.35, settled agricultural communities evolve into the first cities. We humans appear on the cosmic calendar so recently that our recorded history occupies only the last few seconds of the last minute of December 31st. Every person we've ever heard of lived somewhere in there. Everything in the history books happens here in the last 10 seconds of the cosmic calendar. So that was the cosmic calendar, and this image gives a lot more detail about the cosmic calendar in a nonlinear scale. First months, then weeks, then days, then hours of the day. So the exponential rate of change is visible even from just this ever more granular time scale. Now in this particular episode, we're not going to go into the final seconds of the cosmic calendar because that becomes just too granular for this particular episode. But remember that when 13.8 billion years since the Big Bang have been compressed into one year, then one second is about 450 years and a human lifespan is only about 0.23 cosmic seconds, as you can see over here. A human lifespan is less than a fourth of a second, and this is the accelerating rate of change in a very first principles level, visible from increasing complexity and the increasing speed of evolution. Now in the next episode, we will look at this evolution and the accelerating principles within in some algorithmic detail. So stay tuned for episode three.